Hi, just a quick video showing you how to edit the um, banner image. Now I've created a template for you so that you can use GIMP to edit the images that are displaying on your banner. Um, GIMP, I've sent you some links to review some training but um, I've just, you'll see here that I've got four layers. I've got the canvas, the white background and the logo um, on one canvas, on one layer. And the images are just in the middle layer. So I'm going to create a new image for the middle layer. Now, I notice that a lot of your images are very, um, very large. So I'll just show you how to resize the images to fit into the canvas. So you just drag and drop the image that you've got there. And you'll notice that we're really only looking at a tiny little piece of the image. So we want to scale the image down. So making sure that you've highlighted the layer that you want to scale. Then click on the scale tool there. And then click on the image and it'll create this grid effect. Now we want to um, we want to scale it to just larger than the canvas size. So the canvas size is 851. So let's make it 861 so that we, we make sure that the, that the image covers the whole of the canvas. Make sure that the lock is on so the, the scaling is proportional and doesn't screw the, the image up. So lock the proportions. In the top box type in 861 and hit the enter on your keyboard and that will resize the height as well. You're not going to see anything until you hit the scale. And when you hit the scale, it does it its little thing. Now I've got a white box. Why that's there is because the image has been scaled, but it's been scaled to the top right corner of the original image. So what I'm going to do is hold down the control key, and I'm going to use the mouse uh, wheel to scroll out until I see the image. And there's the image there. You can't see it because it's behind or it's off the canvas. So we want to drag it onto the canvas. We select the move tool, click on the image, and then drag it off onto the canvas. Now we can let go and then holding down the uh, control key, zoom back in, or we can hit view, uh, view um, and then go to 100%. Now we can, we're still on the move tool. We can actually move the image around um, so that we get the best placement. Okay, so we'll just make sure there's no white sticking out anyway. There's the placement. So it looks pretty good. We want to go now and export it as a image that we can upload to Facebook. So we're going to click on File export and the default file format is PNG and that's totally fine for Facebook so we can rename um, the image to whatever we want I'll just call this Facebook banner 1 and save it in your hard drive or wherever click export and then just click export again so what we'll have now is is an image there we go and that's the image there that we just created and you can upload that to Facebook to t to replace the um, image or the banner that you've got there currently hope this helps let me know if you have any problems